Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Beast Within Lopez. Uh, this is your channel. Let's, let's get to work. Where am I looking? I don't know. Does it look? I don't know. I promise I'm going to get better, unless this just becomes my bit, where I'm constantly saying I'm going to get better, but I don't get better. Oh, let me show y'all. Check this out. I don't mean to get y'all so close, but man, I just got some rain. It's just rain, and it shouldn't be causing... Sure, sure. Oh, no, watch out. Watch out, watch out. But check that. That's just some rain, yo. Rain shouldn't affect your eyes like that at all because it should be just water. So clearly there are some sort of chemicals that, that uh, irritate the eyeballs. Anyways, I uh, just did my Facebook upload. Does it look better when I look over here? I really would like y'all's input so that I, I, I can do better. Um, that's up to y'all, of course, if y'all want to leave input. Thank you so much for the like so far and the subscribers. <laughs> that means so freaking much to me. Uh, but yeah, it's raining. That could, if I didn't explain that already, that could explain how I got the rain in my eye. Oh, I'm just walking along and rain all of a sudden in my eye. No, that didn't happen. Uh, but anyways, I don't know. Um, um, yeah, so um, I'm saying um a lot. I'm just so happy because this weather is amazing. I love it when it rains, thunder, lightning, snow. Oh, I freaking love it. It's amazing. Um, a family member said I should be a meteor meteorologist, and that would be freaking amazing because then I could really understand more about that. But I love learning everything, so so much as it as it helps other people, I love freaking learning so much. But right now, sorry if I'm talking too fast. I'm focused on reaching out to those that feel lost, alone, and forgotten because they are the ones right now that that need to hear this message most of all. So. Please share this message. Get this out there. I'm so sorry. I forget. To, I forgot to. Uh, I'm shaking so much. I forgot to uh, be able to talk for one, but I forgot to for the person. Sorry, my ear itches. Uh, the person that uh, joined my channel asked me to say something better. <sighs> Freaking, I can't find her in my subscribers list, um, but I keep seeing her pop up on you on my YouTube channel uh for things for me to watch so i've been watching her she's freaking amazing um i forget if it's cerebral palsy is that what it was i forget her name dad gummit but she's a really awesome human she is seeing the positive in her situation uh just like i am overcoming suicide and i haven't overcome depression i thought that i had uh i was very naive of me to think that i could easily overcome those thoughts that is a chemical imbalance i know that because when I've taken non-medically given substances like meth, meth is terrible, do not use it. It will steal your soul. No joke. I know it sounds like I'm being dramatic, but it will change who you are. It is absolutely terrible. Please don't ever use it. Uh, don't. Seriously. Or any other drugs, really, like that. Um, there are some drugs that people talk about. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ramble a little bit today. But there are some drugs people talk about that are good for you, like certain types of mushrooms, marijuana, of course. After more studies being done, being done, <clears throat> but um, I don't know. I know for me, I do for sure have a chemical imbalance because meth, for one, gave me this feeling like I was invincible. That I wanted to reach out to people that. I just want to talk about God to everybody, and I still have that feeling, thank goodness. Um, <clears throat> I, I pray that feeling never falls away, but also had that feeling with this pain medication that I just had, the oxy, oxy, oxycodone is what it was, uh, from my spinal surgery, and that gave me that same feeling, which I was told it shouldn't, and I shouldn't have had, maybe it wasn't oxycodone, it was this other uh, anti-inflammatory that I had, it was one of the two medications that I had. That gave me that same feeling that I was invincible uh, to the point of being manic. I wasn't getting any sleep, um, which was fine because I was so focused. It was such an amazing feeling. I love that feeling. I love it's so amazing to me that feeling, which could be a very big reason why people get addicted because they feel like them true selves. They're not them true selves. They're their true selves, um, and that's dangerous. So we need to figure out how to get that to people without having the terrible side effects of addiction uh, because I think that means we have a chemical imbalance those that, that do get that 
that high. I could be completely wrong. I am not a scientist. Um, all I know is I can speak from experience for myself and for myself alone. But, yeah, man, that's... <clears throat> I'm talking about that oppression and everything I was going through that completely wiped that out. Um, but with the fog, thank goodness that's still gone. I'm still working with something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it on here. I struggle with pornography uh, big time. I have ever since I was a child, ever since walking, I'm not sure if I shared this before, but ever since I walked into this room uh, that a family member had that had thousands, no joke, meh, hundreds, to me, I was super young, uh, thousands of, of pornographic things there, but I still struggle with that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not giving up. I, I do believe it is a generational curse because it also affected my family member. So uh, it's my responsibility to break that curse. Uh, I am trying to do research on that. Um, I'm just I'm putting it out there to y'all so y'all know if y'all struggle with the same thing. Uh, for some people, I don't know, to me, pornography is not good at all. Uh, for me, person, because it is an addiction. Um, and I thought I'd beat that again. I was wrong. But <clears throat> if it doesn't bother you, that's fine. If it works for your, for your relationship, that's fine. Uh, no young child should ever, ever, ever be around that whatsoever. Uh, it's a terrible, terrible thing for children to see because it, it like me, it, it can mess them up. I'm 42 years old. I was, I don't know, five, six, seven when I saw that kind of stuff. And I'm not talking about just Playboy, like Penthouse, Club, really freaking crazy magazines. I still think they're kind of hot, which is wrong. <laughs> I know it's wrong. I'm sorry to laugh, but I'm just being real with y'all. Uh, and I hope y'all y'all appreciate me just being real here, but that's my only real addiction is is pornography. I'm I'm pretty sure I made a video about that, but I just want to bring that up again to to let y'all know that if you're struggling with any sort of addictions, that there there are people you can talk to. You can talk to me about it, friends, family. It's typically easier to talk about talk to strangers because they don't you're you're not afraid of, of the judgment as much. So I'm a stranger to some of y'all. Uh, maybe every one of my subscribers are friends, and that would be great if it is. But, um, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that was it. It's going to be a super, I mean, not a super short video, but I went grocery shopping. Uh, I got food stamps. I qualified for that because I've been out of work for five months. So I got that for a couple of months, which has helped me tremendously. Um, I finally got paid through short-term disability. So I'm going to be going to work soon, very, very soon, next Saturday, Sunday, uh, so I can start freaking paying child support again. I feel so terrible for not having been able to pay that, but I'm going to be submitting uh, documents and everything of why I've been out of work and haven't been able to pay child, child support for so long. Um, of course, it wasn't as much as I'm wanting. We're looking into to back pay and everything like that. I'm sorry to be speaking about so many things. I hope that y'all have stuck with me through this entire uh, discussion here instead of just a couple of minutes. I really, really appreciate if y'all watch through the whole thing. Um, apparently, that's something important. You don't have to, of course. You don't have to like. You don't have to subscribe. But I, this isn't for YouTube. Why I'm wanting to you to like and subscribe. Um, this is partially. Maybe it is. It is because I need to get this message out to as many people as possible. Because people need to hear it. You don't need to be ashamed about those feelings that you have of, of depression, feeling lost, alone, and forgotten. You don't at all. Sorry, I keep looking. Over there. <laughs> so, but um, you don't, you're not alone in anything that you're dealing with. We need to form a community, which is kind of what YouTube is. There's just so much nonsense on here. But it is a great forum. Um, there's a lot of just poison everywhere. Twitter, uh, Instagram, just a lot of people being fake. And, and this world doesn't need that anymore. I believe that we're tired of it. And, and we can see that by the things that people are actually saying and doing. And, and by sharing, like me, uh, sharing their struggles. We're tired of the nonsense and the fakeness. We need real uh, people to show real things in our lives. Not even the stuff that you watch on TV. The... The stuff that they say is real, not real. It's scripted. Majority of it, all scripted. So don't don't fall for that. It's all fake. Every single one of it. Every single one of it. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, 
Uh, get off here. It's almost 10 minutes. I wasn't expecting. Literally, I could talk and talk. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Just reached the 10-minute mark. Um, I love you guys. You are my family. I love you so much. Uh, it's not still... It's, it's stopped raining outside right now. i would show you. Plus, I can't see out. I can't see out of my window. So, <clears throat> yeah. I got to put my groceries up. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day again. I love you so freaking much. More than you could even imagine. I seriously do. Even though you're a complete stranger to me, I fucking love you. Sorry for cussing. Uh, that, just, that just happened. So, um, hope you have a wonderful day. If you're in Tulsa, stay warm. Wherever you're at, stay warm, stay dry, stay loved. Yeah. All right. Bye.